Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're talking combos with Makomo. And this might honestly be a really short video, because there's not too much combo stuff to talk about with Makomo. Even though she has really low damage, her combos are seriously flexible, and most of her combos are going to be you fishing for a grab, because that's where she's going to get most of her damage. And what do I mean by that? Whether she's getting a combo or she's pressuring an opponent on guard, um, she's going to be doing similar stuff. She's going to be doing a few attacks, into a surface slash, into grab. And as you can see there, her grab comes in out so quickly she when she does an aerial surface slash. But even if the opponent is expecting it, you have the mix-ups where you can go for both surface slashes and then go for the grab. And if they try to interrupt your first slash because they think you're going for a grab there, they'll get hit by the second one. And even if they block both surface slashes and they know you're going to do both of them and then go for a grab, you can go for a water wheel and then grab. And then, then beyond your water wheel, you can just loop the same thing over and over again. And at any point you throw in a grab, and that's the main damage that Makomo gets in her gameplay. So her combos are just really her just doing random stuff to make the opponent feel scared and just not know when a grab is coming, because she's a crazy strike throw character. So with Makomo, you really want to make sure you're doing her first two hits. So I just press the button twice and she does this whole sequence. And you want to make sure you can hit confirm off of that if you want to get any decent damage because any more attacks and it'll scale the combo quite a bit and it's really easy to hit confirm this honestly like tap tap oh I'm hitting the opponent let me do the combo it's like tap tap oh he's not blocking okay a good combo so a combo could look something like this oops I can dash up for free here And then go in for a reset there. So 3,200 plus the grab. That's honestly pretty okay damage. Yes, it did cost me three bars, but the the overall damage that I got was kind of amazing for a character that is like known for having really awful damage. It's like half of the opponent's life because they fell for one reset. And she's going to be doing this a lot, and she's really good at it, even on block. Um, if you want your combo to be a little bit cheaper, obviously you can like hit confirm into just a water wheel and then just do a combo like this. And that's a little bit less damage, but it's the same principles. And the same thing, the same thing is going to basically ap apply to no matter what hit you're going to get. You get, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so the two main ways she's going to be ending her combos is either in an aerial water surface slash for the reset that's practically unavoidable or with a water wheel to build meter back, because she can spend a lot of meter on her combos accidentally, like a really good combo of hers is something like this off of a raw water wheel. Oops. So that's a really cool combo she's doing, but as you can see that uses a lot of meter. So a combo that you might want to be doing some of the time as well is just doing something like this. Uh, oops. We're just doing a simple combo like... Like that, where she ends in a water wheel because then you get a hard knockdown and you get to build a bunch of meter back. So that you can go for more crazy combos where you just go special, 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 special and get a big chunk of damage and then go for a reset. Um, if you get a red combo, what I recommend you do is just do a few hits into two water surface slashes, into water wheel, into water surface slash, and like 3,300 damage is really, really good damage from Alchemo. Single armor attack, and it could be even more if I did a charged version, look. 3,700 damage plus the grab, like that's over half of the opponent's life for a nearly unavoidable grab reset. That's pretty awesome damage. And she can also do the same off of her aerial tilt but it can be a little bit trickier for some reason it drops kind of a lot so a lot of the time I end up just doing um like going straight into the specials just to make it more consistent but it is less damage and obviously also after red combos you have the opportunity just to go in for like a water wheel to build a bunch of meter back and uh yeah if you get a her guard special, you can combo off of that just by going into your water wheel and just do basically the exact same stuff. And um, if you're thinking, wow, the grab at the end it, like might get 
a bit, you know, repetitive. They want the opponent blocks that. Trust me, they don't. I've been using Makomo and played, like, a solid, like, 10 matches with her in the last, like, two days, and no one that I have fought has blocked this grab consistently. I think one person jumped away from it a few times, but people just, like, don't do anything about this grab, so it's free damage for you. But if the opponent does start to react to it, you can do things like an armor attack, or just do some delayed attacks. So you can go in for like this, and then dash in on the opponent. So if they try to run away or do anything, you can just dash in on them and catch them. And if they are blocking, you'll just get to, you know, do a big chunk to their their guard, because you're doing... Oops, you don't want to cancel it too quickly, or it'll cost you meter. So that does a big chunk to their guard meter, so that their guard's nearly broken. If you do one more, it'll probably break. Two more? Yeah. So there are a lot of options you can do, but basically just go for a grab every time, and like 99% of the time it'll work and just be a big chunk of damage. But um, if they do start reacting to it, then you can change. But basically that's it for Makomo, and combos wise. With her ultimate, unfortunately you're not going to be using it too often, just like randomly, because she doesn't have any opportunities to combo into it, apart from her, her straight combo or her up combo, but you don't really cancel it at the very end, which is sometimes why you would want to do the up combo, in case you don't have time for this whole Beyblade thing at the end. Because she can't combo to her ultimate in anywhere in the middle here because she's in the air. And you can't combo off of her water wheel because she's in the air. The only place she can combo off of it is her water surface slash. So she can either do the very end of her combo or just do like a single hit and like that. So a lot of the time you're not really going to be comboing into your ultimate. You might just use it as a counter for a big chunk of damage to like counter opponent's water wheel or something. But uh, yeah, other than that, not going to use it in combos too much. Uh, which is why I love going for boost and surge with her, because it seems a lot more effective. Especially since she has such amazing and easy surge combos, like... Like stuff like this, and then going for a reset. I could have done a little bit more there, but even that is a big chunk of damage. <laughs> But that's Makomo, her combos are very simple, just make sure you're Im implementing her ridiculous grab resets into your gameplay consistently, and don't be too consistent yourself. Make sure you're varying it, changing up your combos, even just doing stupid stuff, but it may if it makes the opponent scared, it's worth it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for Makomo combos, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.